Cool. All right, this looks a lot better. Thank you for that. Thank you, everybody, for being here. I'm very proud to be able to be here and introduce Unity Investment to you all. Uh, let's dive right in with a bit of a situation that we have in the crypto space. As we all know, mining in the, bit in the Bitcoin field uses a lot of electricity. In fact, right now, we're about at 100 countries combined just to mine Bitcoin. So 100 countries, it's a lot, obviously. But you see, it's not all that terrible because it brings a lot of benefits with it, and I'll get right into it. You see, with the hype of last year and with crypto emerging in that way, and with all the fintech companies and all the other you know, banking sectors and the tech companies starting up, there was a big movement, a big change that actually came along in the energy sector as well. You see, for energy producers to actually be competitive right now, they can't just rely on substitutions or, you know, um, cheaper funding for the government, etc. They actually need to deliver energy as fast as absolutely possible to stay competitive, right? And to do that, essentially, what that means is no more of these, right? Nuclear power plants take about 15 years to build, cost billions to build them, not even discussing the security and all the risk involved in the environment and what to do with you know, the nuclear waste in the end, but they don't actually spark a single watt of electricity until the reactors go critical, right? So the easy solution, essentially, and that's happening on a decentralized space in the, you know, in the spirit of crypto in itself, we're moving to solar, renewable energies. And not just through incentives of the government, but in, out of incentives to actually be the first to deliver energy to this new mining field and the new uh, crypto space in that way or form. You see, the ease of market, to get into the market in uh, green energy nowadays is essentially you watch a YouTube video, you go down to your local IKEA, go pick up a solar panel, set that thing up in your backyard, catch a couple of sun rays, and you got some green energy right there. You see. With a nuclear power plant, I don't even know how many videos would even exist or how much you would have to consume to even remotely understand how to put something like that together. And in fact, I don't know where you get your plutonium from. You know, the dark net might be a place, but you know, in any case, the fact is there is actual true intrinsic value going on right now with these, uh, with these new green energy fields. And I'm not just talking, you know, quantitative ways in terms of production costs, obviously creating Bitcoin or mining Bitcoin, bring a certain, you know, cost with them, this electricity in itself, jobs, right? There are some taxes maybe depending on where you're at. But I'm also talking lesser in the quantitative field, but more in a qualitative field in terms of job creation, in terms of the technology, it being decentralized, having the ability to um, essentially have something in the digital world that is not copyable or reproducible in a way or duplicatable, um, it's in itself, in itself, an extremely important asset and absolutely new to what we know from the digital world, where everything is about copying and duplicating and you know ripping and downloading and torrenting in that way. Uh, the crypto space is a real big fundamental shift away from uh, what we've known. Um, so essentially, what Unity does is, yeah, we're in crypto mining in that way in Switzerland, but uh, we bring together people all over the sectors and bring them and talk to these energy traders and talk to these industries to make sure that they're actually capable of delivering these kinds of uh, technologies to the end consumer. And we urge everyone, you know, at home or anywhere to, uh, to get into the green energy sector in that way as well. Obviously, with uh, these technologies uh, being so, let's call them fresh in a way that they've more or less hit mainstream these last couple of months or, you know, last uh, two years, um, the scalability issues, the, the things that we, you know, are criticizing right now about crypto in that way or form, they will eventually dissolve, right? If you think back to the 90s where Netscape, the browser, essentially had an IPO, um, you could buy this, this was just a browser, they, all they had was this, this tool that you could browse the net, it cost $49 and you could buy it. 
But this is, you know, 1995. There was no, you know, PayPal, there were no credit card payments and all that. So the entire value chain was extremely cumbersome. You had to wire money to them or be fortunate enough to eventually get your, uh, your browser on an AOL CD, for instance, if that was the place that you were getting your internet from. And so the same thing will happen essentially, and we're working together uh, in, in the spirit of unity, bring everybody together to be a part of the crypto mining revolution. So as I mentioned, we're from Switzerland, right? So one of the major benefits, I mean, you can see it, our flag is a big plus, but uh, on a more serious scale, uh, looking at it, Switzerland is known for its political and regulatory stability, um, has extremely low taxes, extremely low electricity too, uh, we're essentially cheaper than China because there's no taxes on the electricity itself, being a very low tax country. Um, we're a financial powerhouse in terms of our, um, our um, you know, presidents in a way saying that they want Switzerland not just to be a financial you know, hub, but also a crypto nation. Uh, and uh, with, with the abilities to pay taxes in crypto, to found a company in crypto, you can go to any uh, ticket, ticketing machine essentially for your train ticket and you can buy Bitcoin right there on every single one of those ticketing machines, right? That's how crypto friendly Switzerland is and it's just growing with, you know, the crypto valley going on there. It's the place where huge talent come together anywhere in the world. So what Unity does essentially, yes, mining is one big thing that we go for because it enables anybody and everybody in the world to be a part of the crypto revolution, no matter how technologically skilled you are, how you know, financially strong you are, what path of life or what walk of life you come from. And we have a big transparent dashboard where everybody can see exactly which machines we have. We have a big diversified pool of machines that always render the most profitable coin, essentially. Um, another pillar, of course, is our ICO coming up in October which very simply says, not much complex economics to it. We raise funds, we take those funds, invest it into hardware, and that hardware essentially will be, you know, mining crypto, different kinds of crypto. And at Unity, Friday is payday, so we pay out on every Friday two of the token holders in actual cryptocurrency like Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, and Ethereum. Not gas with Ethereum or with NEO, but the actual trusted true coin, right? Um, on top of it, adaption needs education, so we're going to be posting a lot of, you know, videos considering we're in the market for a long time, uh, giving actual real facts about mining, about crypto, about adaption, etc., because we want people to be using it as if, you know, this is just easy as sending an email around. And of course, we have other projects going on that will be funded with the ICO as well in terms of bringing blockchain and crypto to third, third world countries that aren't connected to the first world banking system in that way or form. But we'll get to that uh, eventually uh, to showcase that on the website. So our main advantage is our pro mining, proactive mining algorithm. You see, back to the solar panel in your backyard, of course, everybody can do it. Everybody can buy a miner, plug it into their cellar, and let it run. But is it really the best place to be running your miner, essentially, right? Is the power good? Is the cooling good? Are you really getting the best out of your hardware and your money? And what our proactive mining algorithm does is it compares all different coins on the blockchain, depending on our career characteristics, such as you know market cap, volume, exchanges where it's traded, um, and makes sure that these machines are always mining the most profitable coin. So like on a on a miner that does, you know, SHA-256, it could switch between Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, and other coins that are compatible with that algorithm. Same thing for other miners for different coins. So you're always getting the max out of it, and you don't have to do anything with it. All you do is you hold your token, and you get the rewards paid out every Friday. Pretty simple. So, again, the token basically puts together reinvestments. It enables globalization, meaning everybody in the world can be a part of it. And of course, the global access part comes along with the rewards. So anybody can actually be a part of mining without knowing anything about the technological aspects of it, but still reap the benefits as rewards. During our ICO phase, we're in it basically right now, starting in August, going on to September and October. We have various different interesting rewards for the early adopters, of course, referral bonuses as well. 
Uh, we welcome anybody to send us an email and uh, talk to us about our projects coming up. This is our team. I'm here, Shirley's here. If you want to catch us, we're around, so we welcome everybody to talk to us and uh, share some thoughts. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Sean. Okay, um, we have a quick break.